What's up, Lean 29? This is Matt bringing you this week's workout from our home base here in Mesa, Arizona. This week's workout is called Lean 29 Body Weight Only. It should be pretty obvious why we call it that. There's four exercises, maybe five exercises, depends how you look at it, I guess. Four main exercises, and they use only our body weight, okay? And uh, how we set it up, obviously, it's a 29 minute workout. It's going to be uh, quick. Efficient, very effective, and uh, we've gotten some good feedback on this one. So here's what we're gonna do. There's four exercises. You get 35 seconds at each station. So you go through exercise one, two, three, four. No rest, go right back to one, two, three, four again. And then there's a 35 second burst of cardio. We'll probably do squat thrusts or jumping jacks or mountain climbers, anything like that, okay? Then you get your rest, 35 seconds rest. Then you go back and do the whole thing again. So two rounds of the four exercises plus the one cardio exercise, then rest. We do that whole thing, like that little, uh, the two rounds of the cardio exercise, you do that four times. So by the end of the workout, you've done eight sets of each exercise and four sets of the cardio exercise. Okay? Then you do your stretches, then you're done. 29 minutes. It's over. All right, let's get to it. I'll show you the exercises, and uh, this shouldn't take very long at all. There's only four of them, right? Okay, let's get to the first one. It's prone cobras. Hey, I'm down here on the ground, getting ready to do a prone cobra. Okay, here's what you do. You lay face down, you put your arms out to the side, and then you pull your chest up off the floor. Okay, so you're down here. Arms up to the side and down like this. First thing you want to do is kind of pull your shoulders back, raise up off the floor, okay? Now you can do this two ways with this exercise, with this group. You can do 35 second hold, just pull yourself up and hold it there. Or you can come up, hold for five seconds, slow, slowly back down, come back up. Okay, so you can do reps. Right? Reps like that, or you can just do one 35 second hold. That's a prone cobra. It's a good one. I know it doesn't look like much, but you'll feel it, alright? Alright, on to exercise number two. Alright, exercise number four. Number four? Number two. I'm way ahead of myself. Exercise number two is split squats. What you're going to do is find yourself a bench like this, okay? Put one foot out in front of you, one foot up on you, or up on the bench behind you, okay? Turn your hips straight, squat, come on back up, okay? Get nice and deep if you can, go down as far as you can comfortably and safely, okay? Uh, one of the mistakes I see, the most common mistake I see probably with these is that people don't take a big enough step out from the bench, they end up getting all crunched up in here, that just makes for an awkward movement, make sure you get this foot nice and far enough out here that you, you got enough room to do a good squat. Okay? That's a split squat. We'll move on to exercise number three, which is push-ups. Fun push-ups. All right, push-ups. I know, I love my push-ups. Put them in these workouts all the time. So, you get yourself a mat if you'd like. We all know what a regular push-up looks like, right? Okay, so the way we modify them though in Lean 29, because not everybody can do a full push-up, so you put your knees on a bench or on a on the mat, right? Do knee push-ups, okay? Or you usually keep a bench handy so that you can do them onto the bench. Anytime you put a push-up on an incline, so that your hands are, are higher than your feet are. Uh, whether it's uh, if you're doing this at home, if you're on a couch or a countertop, uh, or the, the front of a chair, anything. I mean, anything you can lean onto, it's going to make the push-up easier than if you're doing it on the floor. So, push-up on a bench like this, okay, is easier than a push-up on the floor. A push-up from your knees on a bench like this, okay, is easier than push-ups from your knees on the floor. Because again, my hands are higher than my knees or my feet, depending on what I'm using. Okay? 
So that's how we uh, that's how we modify push-ups in Lean 29. Again, you've got 35 seconds at each station. So you've got from one to two. This is the third station. Now we're going to go to station number four right over here and show you uh, the tripod. Hey, what's happening? We're here for uh, exercise number four, which is the tripod. Okay, so uh, you can get yourself a mat or you can just do this one on the floor. You want to be on your hands and feet, hands and feet, okay? Uh, then what you want to do is just take one arm away, lift it out to the side, and try, try as hard as you can to not let your hips shift from side to side, okay? So, you're just going to hold yourself nice and still. Arm out to the side and switch arms. Okay? Now, your hips might shift a little. It's just important that you are trying not to let them shift. So, keep your abs and your low back muscles, all that stuff tight, you know, your, your glutes. Fire all that stuff, the core muscles, okay? And uh, keep it tight. Again, at modification, you can keep your knees on the mat. That actually sometimes feels harder for me. I don't know why. Okay. Uh, that's it. The only other thing maybe is if your wrists hurt from a lot of this, because we did push-ups and all that stuff too. If you've got yourself a, a set of uh, push-up bars to keep your wrists straight while you're doing it. Okay, on to, uh, well, it's not really exercise number five. That's the complete four, uh, four exercise circuit. Um, so onto the cardio movement that we do after two completions of these four exercises, okay? Hey, we're here for the cardio exercise. It's, uh, remember, two circuits of the first four exercises and then 35 seconds of this. The standard is going to be a squat thrust. Okay, we've done this one before on Link 29. Squat down, put your hands on the floor, kick your legs back, bring them in, stand up. If you go as fast as you can safely for 35 seconds, you'll, uh, you'll get the heart rate up, okay? All right, that's it.